Hello, this is Jared Walton from Anon Tech. Today we're looking at AMD's Radeon HD 7970M. We're going to start with some quick testing of Batman Arkham City. We're starting with the very high defaults at 1080p with 4x anti-aliasing enabled. So I've got two laptops. In the top left we have the AVA Direct Clevo P170EM that has a Core i7-3720QM processor paired with Enduro technology and the HD 7970M. On the bottom right we have the same graphics chip only it's in MSI's GX60 and it's paired with AMD's A10 4600M Trinity APU. So one of the concerns that we have is whether or not the Trinity APU will actually be able to drive the graphics processor hard enough. So this is at very high settings again. You can see already there's a pretty significant difference in frame rates. It ranges anywhere from similar where we're completely GPU limited to as much as a 20, 30, maybe even 50 percent difference in some scenes. The minimum frame rates are also substantially lower on the AMD APU system, indicating that when it gets bogged down on sections that it's very much the CPU portion of the processor that's holding things back. You can also see that even as we started at the same time, the Intel solution is managing to load scenes faster, transition faster and just provide an overall more consistent experience. When we're at the end of the scene here in a minute, we'll see their final frame rates. And what we've got is the average frame rate for the Intel solution is 71 frames per second compared to 49 frames per second on the AMD's Trinity APU. So that's, that's at very high. Um, if we bump things up to extreme, which is what I'm going to do now, we'll skip the loading section and all that. We will see that it becomes a little less of a bottleneck on the CPU side, but there's still some difference, especially in the minimum frame rates. I should also mention the load times for the game are substantially longer on the AMD Trinity side. Um, level loads take about 22 seconds compared to more like 15-16 seconds and loading the game proper takes about 57 seconds on the Intel compared to 75 to 80 seconds on the AMD side. So it's not just a matter of driving the GPU fast enough, all areas are impacted by having the slightly slower processor. It's not a horrible experience, but the problem is we're talking about AMD's highest end mobile graphics chip, the 7970M, and that's that's really a fast graphics chip. And it just seems really weird to me to pair that up with an APU that costs, you know, one third as much as the graphics chip and ends up being in some cases a pretty substantial bottleneck. So here we are on the final scene with the two systems running and what you'll see is the average frame rates this time are closer the Intel system is 49 frames per second compared to I believe 44 or 45 frames per second they're both playable but the Intel definitely delivers a more consistent experience again this is Jared Walton from Anantech thanks for watching